Hey, 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 it's your girl, Chef Evelyn here. And I wanted to come into this video to talk about highlighters for dark skin. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time over the years, I've kind of talked about how I really never got into highlighters, how I haven't enjoyed highlighters. And I'm here to tell you that that has changed. Now, part of the reason why I was never a fan of highlighters is because one, I live in Texas where it's currently already 100 degrees and today is just the beginning of July. You know, we get into the upwards of like the 110s and 112s. And so you're already going to be glistening from just pure heat and humidity. Secondly, I also have very, very oily skin. And so typically I don't like to add any shine on top of that. So you got Texas heat and then oily skin. But then also over the years, I never really found highlighters that I felt didn't look like a streak of like shimmer or gold or silver or or whatever on the cheek until maybe the past couple of years right and the thing that really made me change my mind is I realized that there was a blush that I was using for years and I'm going to show it to you that I, I have hit pan on that I was essentially using like a highlighter. It was a shimmery blush and I didn't even realize it. And once it dawned on me that I was using that blush like a highlighter, it made me realize I do in fact like a shimmer. I, mean, I do in fact like highlighter. It just has to be a certain tone, a certain color. So most of the highlighters I'm going to share with you today are high end. I have one drugstore and it's actually not my favorite, but if you like something a little bit more pungent, like a little stronger, I want to show you these. And these are specifically for dark skin or dark brown skin because these are brown highlighters. Okay. They're not gold. They're not um, bronze. And I'm going to show you some other highlighters that I that I've gotten through other things. Some made by black brands, some not that were meant for dark skin. And I'm going to show you in contrast why I prefer these highlighters over things that we have been released in the past for quote unquote dark skin um, for highlighters. So I want to get into I want to share with you the blush that kind of kicked it off. And this blush is actually a MAC blush. I have I have hit pan on it. I've had it for a long time. This is sweet as cocoa. And this is a shimmery. This is a shimmery brown blush. Let me see. Okay, old school YouTube vibes, right? I mean, I know it looks gross because I have overused it. But when I realized that I was using this as a highlight over time i'm going to swatch some of these on my hand so you can see this when i realized that i was essentially using this as a highlight over time i was like oh that makes sense right so i don't know if you can see that there do you see how like and that's a concentrated swatch so obviously once that gets like thinned out on the cheeks or whatever it's going to make a beautiful soft shimmery highlight right so that sweetest cocoa, and I'm going to link all of these below, is like, I was like, oh, girl, you do like it. So once I realized that I was like, okay, I guess I am into highlight because I've been using this for so long, I went, um, maybe this is about a year or so ago, and I picked up at the Fashion Fair Highlight in Golden Bronze. And what's interesting about this is there is a brown highlighter and a gold highlighter in here, right? I'm never going to use the gold, okay? But this this brown highlighter is gorgeous. I want you to see that. And I, I hope you can see that it's kind of shimmering. This one is brown, but it has a little bit of like a purpley tinge to it, which is kind of interesting um, in comparison to the Sweetest Cocoa. And do you see how these highlighters are so close to my skin tone, right? I feel like when we've seen other people swatch highlights, whether it's peachy or corally or champagne, like you can see it on their hand, but it's it's relatively close to their skin tone. And that's all I've ever wanted, right? Now, let me tell you the two highlighters that really like set it off for me. Um, House Labs. House Labs. Okay, now the first one that I picked up, I believe, was Chocolate Opal. First of all, look at this packaging. Okay, on the highlight. This is Chocolate Opal. Look, look, look at this. Okay, this is Chocolate Opal, and I'm going to swatch both of these. And I have a, a neutral undertone to my skin, so I can kind of wear like a warmer highlight or something, maybe even a little cooler. And this is Bronzite. These are highlighters. L look at this. So if you if you hold them up side by side, you can see that this one is a little bit warmer, a little bit more copier, cop, 
copier, a little bit more copper than this one, right? But I can wear them both and depending upon what my makeup look is, then that's how I choose. So let me first, let me swatch chocolate opal. This is the, this is the warmer of the two. Let me swatch this one. This is kind of the one that was like, I now wear highlighter. Okay. So that's chocolate opal there. And then let me swatch bronzite for you. So this is bronzite. This is the more cooler neutral tone one. And now you can see that kind of stands out a little bit more. That's probably the most standout highlight I've shown you this far. So I go in with a light hand when I use that, right? But do you see like how it's kind of sitting on top of my skin and the other ones are kind of blending in? Yeah, but at least it's not like silver or like yellow gold, but we're going to get to that. Now, once I was feeling that, I said, oh, I saw this highlight from, I believe this is REM Beauty. And is this Ariana Grande's brand? I'm not sure. This is the Ulta. This highlighter is called Miss Pluto. Look at this color. As a highlighter, as a highlighter, when I tell you this one, this one is right up there with me with um, Chocolate Opal from House Labs. But let me swatch this one for you too. Oh, it's so nice. So I'm going to swatch this. Look at how brown that is. So this is probably the closest to um, Chocolate Opal. And this is also probably the closest to Sweetest Cocoa, right? But look how subtle it is. But it is, it is a highlight, okay? I love that for me, right? So you can see that kind of sheared out on the cheeks. I, I do have a highlight on today. It's very subtle. I'm, we're going to get to it. It is what is coming up next. This is probably the newest. This is the newest highlighter to my collection. And when I saw, when I saw this brand announce these, I, it, I was like, it doesn't even matter. I'm buying it. I don't need to swatch it. I don't need to see it in store. I already know it's going to be amazing. I already know I like this, the formula of this particular product. I already know I like this brand and I already know I'm feeling the color. And this is the off the grid, um, yummy skin, blurring balm powder, low lighters. <laughs> the name is so long from Danessa Myricks. Now I did a video a while ago sharing blushes out of this line. I have all six of the blushes and I still use them and I still enjoy them particularly in the summertime because they have that upsolite technology that absorbs oil. So I was like, wait, a highlighter that's supposed to be meant to be like a low lighter. So it's not supposed to be like blingy. You can see it from outer space. That's not what I'm into. But then it also has the oil absorbing technology. Please say less. So let me open this up. This is the shade. Can you see this? Stunning. Let me swatch this for you. This is what I have on today. Just sheared out over on the cheeks. Wait till you see this color. When I tell you, I said, oh, uh-huh. Please don't ever discontinue. I might have to get a backup just because. Because do you see that? Do you see that? So that is from Danessa Myricks, right? And then I want to show you um, another, bl uh, two more blushes that I have and then a drugstore highlighter, right? So another blush that I have now, I believe this is discontinued or, or it was limited edition. But if you have it in your collection, um, then pull it out, use it as a highlighter. And I realized that's kind of what I used it for. This is by... Chanel, um, the little pouch here with a little emblem on there. And this is, this was called Blush Lumiere, okay, in Brune Russi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And so let me open this for you. Take out the little brush that I'm never going to use. Take out this little covering. It comes with this little covering on top. This is the blush. <sighs> If you are familiar with Pat McGrath's 
blush in Paradise Venus, which is my favorite blush of all time. Hands down favorite blush of all time. Okay, it's like a rosy terracotta brown blush that just eats on my skin tone. Okay, this is the shimmery version of that. Okay, if you can find this somewhere, if because it was a limited edition when I saw I this color is going to eat on my skin every time. Huh? It's going to eat every time. So when I saw it, I was like, ooh, Chanel. And and I found out that it, it was a shimmery finish. Let, let me. Let me swatch this for you. It's very soft, which I like. Look at that. It's almost the same color, sweetest cocoa. Almost the same color as this. Are, are you catching a the theme here? But these, do you see how purple the Fashion Fair is? But do you see how, like, these are highlighters for brown skin? So now, um, let me show you the drugstore highlight, which this one is a little too blingy for me. But every now and again, I wear it as eyeshadow. I, I don't even know if it is eyeshadow. I think it was supposed to be a bronzer, but it's a highlighter. So it's from e.l.f. And it just says that the shade is luminous bronze. This to me reminds me of bronzite from House Labs, just way more in your face. So I'm going to swatch it for you. So if you want a more blingy highlight, uh, you can see that. Um, let me put that down here on my wrist. That's it. So you see how bright that is. And you see, do you see how it's sitting on top of the skin? Like the tone is right, but there's so much metallic in it. It almost looks like white and ashy on top of the skin. Like, so I use it more so, more so as a um, eyeshadow than I do as a highlight. It's just a little too bright on top of my skin tone. It's just sitting on top where these are kind of like fading in. Like this is just like, hello, you can see me from outer space. Now, there is another blush um, from NARS that I want to share with you that also serves as a really good highlighter. And so that's the thing. I think I because I started with brown shimmery brown blushes that I knew could work like a highlighter like if I see a shimmery brown brush blush now I'm all about it so I have it in this little limited edition palette but I think it's a permanent color and the shade is I believe this is savage so it's this shade right here let me turn it right there it is a shimmery it's so soft it oh, it's just so soft is a shimmery brown and let me see where I can go with this. I'm going to go like right across here. Do you see that? There we go. That, okay, that's a better view. So right there on the side of the hand. It's also a little bit brighter than I typically like, but it is still an option, right? So I would say right now, this, the REM and the um, chocolate opal from House Labs are probably my favorite. This is what I want to contrast this with. So I, I these are these are the brown highlighters for deep skin that I rock with. I want to show you. I want to show you one, two, three. Four, I want to show you four highlighters that I did not purchase for the point of being highlighters but they came in other palettes and I was like I'm probably never going to use this as a highlight because of the tone so I want to I want to first start with a black on brand this is Uma Beauty or Alma Beauty however you pronounce it and this is I want I used to want this palette for years this is volume one of the high life palette and it is a blush bronzer and highlight so bronzer which I can I can almost use as a bronzer but it's whatever a stunning blush this blush is actually really really pretty and two highlighters highlighters now you may look at this and say Evelyn this high this highlighter look like it's gonna it's gonna be all right this one obviously looks a little light let me just let me just swatch the one that looks like it's going to be all right and I want to show you how gold it is. It is, it's, it's gold. 
It's not yellow gold. But you see how it's sitting on top of my skin? Look at the difference. It almost looks silver. It's so stark. That's the deeper. That's this. That's this one. I can go. I can swatch the other one for you. I ain't even, there's not even really a point to swatching that one. That almost looks like ice <laughs> on my skin. This is from a black owned brand. So you can see why over the years I was like, oh, I guess I'm not a highlighter girly because I was like, I don't like that look even sheared out on my skin. Right. But then let's go further. So I had picked up this Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Power Duo in Flicker. Right. And this is supposed to be bronzer and highlight so what's interesting is i'm going to swatch both here i'm going to swatch the bronzer and i'll swatch the highlight the formula on this is so smooth but but look at this the bronzer could basically be a highlight but it's a little too deep and then the highlight that's supposed to be for deep skin looks like this that looks like yellow chalk on a chalkboard with shimmer in it look at the comparison okay so when I was like, I'm not a highlighter girly, I was like, I don't want this like streak of something. Even if you try to blend it out, I don't want that on top of my skin. Now, should I have expected more from Tom Ford? No. Okay. <laughs> now, let me tell you who got me one, not just once, but who got me twice. And I said, you know what? Y'all will never get me again. Unless you come out with a deep brown highlighter in your palette you're not going to give me again because i tried and i and i i was hopeful and i spent my coins on these two palettes very expensive palettes beautiful formula beautiful formula zero shade inclusion hourglass it started with this one when this came out i looked at this and i said I can do something with this now to be fair this finishing powder in the middle oh I can rock with that it's almost the same color as my um Kosas cloud set that I set my face with well actually I guess it's not um it's a little bit lighter it's beautiful though I can do a quick particularly in the winter time I can do a cute little finish with it or whatever this this is supposed to be the highlighter. Now, the promo pictures when this launched, this whole palette was significantly, let me let me do that. There we go. This whole palette was significantly deeper, right? I can't even fool with this. I don't even know what this is. This right here, I'm going to swatch it for you cuz it looks deep and golden and bronze. I'm I'm going to swatch it for you. The formula is impeccable. You can already tell. I'm going to put it right next to that Tom Ford. I mean, it's not looking like chalkboard yellow, but I, I can't, I can't do anything with that. And so I was like, you know what? Don't worry about it, Evelyn. It's just not for you. And then they came out with this and I, I was like, I really want to try it. Okay. Really want to try it. Really want to just, I said, maybe I'll just get something that's a little bit more coppery. So this is the palette. This is the same powder that's in this. I already knew I couldn't do anything with that. So I said, okay, it was this, this shade, this shade, and this shade that I said. I could wear like a blush topper, a highlight. I just want to get the formula, right? So I'm going to swatch the top middle, which is a little bit more rusty of a color. And then I'm going to swatch this one which is basically orange and i'm going to show you what they look like let me go here so that's the rust color look at how bright it is on the skin look at the comparison and then this is the orange where this is what has been available to me for most of my life this is what i'm rocking with subtle soft matches the skin tone blends in beautifully so 
I just wanted to do a little video to give you some if you if you've heard of some of these highlights and you were curious, you know, about what they look like on dark skin. Um, kind of want to give you this is my no pile. <laughs> this is my for sure pile. I don't think I need any more. I don't really wear highlighter like that. I don't even wear makeup every day. And when I do wear makeup, I don't always wear a highlight. I feel like I have enough highlights to last me. Um, I would say if you were to ask me what my favorite, favorite, favorite ones are, the Danessa Myricks, the REM, and then the um, House Labs and Chocolate Opal. These three favorite highlighters. If I if if that's if that's all I'm ever gonna be rocking with, I'm good. I had purchased the most recent Fenty soft filter glow highlight it was so glittery like the tone was perfect the tone was in this family it was so glittery that all i could see was the glitter and I, so i took it back i took it back uh i typically don't like to take makeup back but i took it back but anyway wanted to give you this breakdown to see this is this is what the folks have been giving me for years which is why i was anti-highlight because i was like look how chalky this looks on the skin right this is in the soft glam world that I like to live in. So if you're close to my skin tone or um, you want something, you know, just or you're a little bit darker than me, I think these highlights would be great. I'm going to link to all of them down below in the description box. Let me know, are there any other brown, not bronze, not gold, not copper? Are there any other brown highlighters that I missed that you would recommend high end? middle whatever the case may be let me know in the description box below i don't like liquid highlighters let me just say that but you can list them so other people can have access to them but anyway with that being said check out the links below if you want to grab one of these highlighters for some time give you a little extra glow you know what i'm saying a little lip from within situation and i will see you in my next video peace